What's up motocross action? I'm Josh Mosman and today we have a very special MXA video for you. As we get closer to the 2021 MXA 450 shootout, we wanted to do a little head-to-head -head comparison with our 2021 Yamaha YZ450F and also our 2021 Kawasaki KX450. We here at MXA know that there might be some riders out there that are on the fence between two manufacturers, and we are here to put the Kawasaki and Yamaha in the ring together to help better educate our readers before they spend their hard-earned money at the dealers. All right, so let's dive into the details on what's new for 2021. For this year, the Kawasaki KX450's basic changes were new graphics, oversized Renthal 839 fat bars instead of the old 7 8 inch bars, it comes with bigger bar mounts, and the only engine update was that they added a CT3 coating on the piston skirts. Besides these minor updates, the only significant mechanical change that Kawasaki made was to update their clutch. They added hydraulic actuation back in 2019, but its durability lacked when used on the previous generation's clutch internals. For 2021, they enlarged their clutch basket by 7 millimeters, added new clutch plates with angled fiber segments, and most importantly, they dumped the five coil type clutch springs for the same Belleville washer that comes on KTMs. Unlike the five separate coil springs on previous Kawasaki clutches, the large diameter Belleville washer applies pressure to the clutch pack evenly around its circumference. Diving into the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F, this bike didn't receive any mechanical updates for the new year. Only new graphics, blue number plates instead of white, and black four cards also instead of white. But this bike did receive big changes in 2020 that significantly boosted its reputation last year. Diving into the horsepower, when you put these two 2021 machines on the dyno, their weaknesses and strength jump off the graph paper. The Kawasaki KX450 is stronger off the bottom from 6,000 to 8,000 RPM, while the Yamaha is much stronger from mid to top going from 9,000 to 11,000. The 2021 Yamaha YZ450F makes 58.56 horsepower at peak, while the 2021 Kawasaki KX450 pumps out only 55.85 horsepower at peak. Basic math tells you that the YZ450F is 2.5 7 horsepower stronger than the KX450. But the Kawasaki KX450 makes more torque than the YZ450F at 34.83 pound feet for the KX450 and 34.36 for the YZ450F. In the simplest terms, the Kawasaki KX450 is stronger from low to mid and rides in the torque and horsepower curve to perfection, while the Yamaha YZ450F builds power in a very steady progression until it takes off around 8,800 RPM and peaks at 9,700 RPM. There's no doubt that Yamaha wins the dyno battle while losing to the KX450 from idle to mid. So how do they feel on the track? The 2021 KX450 engine delivers a usable power band. It has a classic snappy feel that mates well with the lighter and more agile Kawasaki chassis. Yes, the KX450 gives up almost three horsepower to the YZ450F, but don't let that worry you. The KX450's power delivery is brisk, clean, and quick. It's a fun 450cc engine to ride thanks to its fast revving and ultra responsive bottom end that jumps into a steadily building mid-range. The KX450 engine isn't as much about raw horsepower as it is about lively throttle response. Once you get it near 9,000 RPM, it plays second fiddle to every other 450 on the track besides the 54 horsepower RMZ450. The lesson learned from the 2021 KX450 is that sticking to the torque curve produces more thrust than the horsepower figures would predict. Paradoxically, the dyno doesn't do the KX450 justice. Although it is one horse better than the YZ450F from idle to 8,000 RPM, it doesn't feel like it. And while it is very weak above 8,000 RPM, it doesn't feel all that weak either. Every test rider was impressed with the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F's bottom end power. Even though on the dyno it has the least horsepower of any 2021 450 from 7,000 to 8,000 RPM, 
Down low, the YZ450F is even beat by the RMZ450. It's basically a high RPM engine disguised as a low to mid machine. But much like the KX450's horsepower numbers, the YZ450F's power delivery is better than its stats. The YZ450F power band has two distinct parts that are so well integrated with each other that you would never know that the YZ450F is dodging at below 9,000 RPM. Above nine grand is where you find that the YZ450F does its best work. Once it gets rolling, it has a very good straight line power. Every MXA test rider loved its building block style of power, but then they would turn around and say that the Kawasaki engine was more usable. Clutches. For the first time, Kawasaki's clutch earned a victory in our books over the Yamaha clutch. The Kawasaki has had hydraulic actuation since 2019 and they've struggled. But now, with the 7mm larger basket diameter and Belleville washer, this clutch surpasses the blue bike. Suspension. The Yamaha YZ450F's Kayaba SSS forks win this category because their test department did a better job than Kawasaki's test department in specking the correct spring rate for the average 450 consumer. The 2021 KX450 Showa's forks are good if you're light or slow, but if you're heavy or fast, you'll find them exceedingly soft. It also should be noted that Kawasaki, Honda, and Suzuki Showa forks are basically the same, but just with different valving and oil heights. As far as the shock goes, both the YZ450F and the KX450 have acceptable rear suspension that worked for a wide range of riders. Handling. The Kawasaki KX450 wins in the handling category. It is a very agile bike in comparison to the YZ450F. With its more pleasant power band, the KX450 is easier to move around on the track. It has a deft touch at turn-in and doesn't lift and drift on the corner exit. Of all the aluminum frame bikes, the KX450 is the most forgiving. You might be tempted to quote that the 2021 YZ450F is the best handling YZ450F ever, but that isn't a hard target to hit. Prior to the 2020 model, all of the YZ450Fs had a massively flawed chassis that repelled all efforts to get them to hold a line on corner exit or to stop wiggling on corner entrance. Now, with the more metered power output of the engine resulted in a snappier turn-in, improved manners on corner exit, and upgraded front tire accuracy. Wait, the Kawasaki KX450 hits the scales at 233 pounds, while the Yamaha YZ450F weighs 238 pounds. The 5 pound difference feels like 10 pounds in the track. You can feel the YZ450F's weight when unloading your bike, pushing your bike, when turning your bike, and when hitting bumps on your bike. Brakes. Yamaha wins in this category. Last year, Yamaha increased the pucker power on their front brake, while Kawasaki's front brake is good after you bleed it the first time, but its rear brake is atrocious. The jumbo size 250 millimeter rear rotor is way too touchy. Ergonomics. The Kawasaki KX450 wins in this category. Not because it has amazing ergonomics, but because the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F is severely lacking here. The seat feels like the rider is sitting in a hole, the gas tank splays the rider's legs outward, the stock bar position is very weird, and the short Yamaha shift lever doesn't work well with boots larger than size 10. Other than that, the YZ450F bombards the riders with blaring noise from both the pipe and the airbox at the same time. <laughs> Durability. Yamaha takes the cake here. MXA has had Yamaha YZ450Fs that we've put over 100 hours on without them blinking. Our track record with the KX450 is that it blinks more often. Getting down to the nitty gritty, let's dive into the pros and cons on these bikes. The pros. The $9,599 2021 Yamaha YZ450F has a great straight line speed, superb box stock suspension, decent brakes, Wi-Fi mapping, and bulletproof reliability. The $9,399 2021 Kawasaki KX450 has extremely usable power, agile handling, a strong hydraulic clutch, plug-in coupler mapping, and it's light compared to the YZ450F.
tons. The 2021 Yamaha YZ450F is too heavy, the air filter and air box is a terrible design, and the seat foam is wimpy. But most of all, the YZ450F is too big, too bulky, too wide, too tall, and too heavy. The ergos of the 2021 YZ450F could only be liked by someone who owned the previous YZ450F because it is better than anything before 2020. The 2021 Kawasaki needs stiffer fork springs or valving, a rear brake pedal with more adjustment, a smaller rear brake rotor, plastic that doesn't crack, chain rollers and guides that don't wear out in two hours, and more than 55 horsepower for wants to run with the 58 horsepower competition. Overall, the MXA Wrecking Crew would rather ride the 2021 Kawasaki KX450, but when lining up for a race, we always choose the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F. So that's it for this head-to-head -head comparison on the 2021 Kawasaki and Yamaha 450 models. Still to come is Motocross Action's 2021 450 shootout, where we're going to be taking the Kawasaki and the Yamaha and putting it up against the new Honda, the updated KTM and Husqvarna, and the Suzuki as well to see who takes the cake as the best overall bike for 2021. We hope this video helped you decide between which bike you want to buy, between a Kawasaki and a Yamaha, and also just learn more so that you know what you're doing when you're heading to your local dealer. Stay tuned to what's going on with Motocross Action Magazine by subscribing to our magazine or picking it up at your local grocery store on the newsstand. And also, check out motocrossactionmag.com for the latest news, reviews, race results, bike tests, product tests, and more. If you haven't seen some of our first ride videos on the new 2021 450s, you can click one of these thumbnails. And before you go, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube just to stay up to date with the latest Motocross Action video uploads.